Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Fox 64, a Let's Play by Ravage Talon. Let's jump right into this motherfucker. Oh, and fair warning, there's going to be a lot of bad language coming out of me throughout this. So if you are easily offended, please close the video now. But if you're probably if you're watching my video, you probably don't care anyway. So let's jump into this bitch. Corneria, little backstory. Fourth planet of the Lilat system. The evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet Venom. He fucking deserved Five it. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McCloud, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, that jerk. and James and Peppy were captured by Andros. Peppy barely escaped Venom Noob. and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. Your daddy's dead. A few years have passed. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. What a General jackass. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team headed by Fox Bunch of McCloud noobs. to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. Stupid hacks. The Lilat system. Speaking of Lilat, it's funny to note that in Japan this game was called Lilat Wars. Anyway, let's jump right into Mission 1, Corneria. Kaboom. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope And in for case you world. care, we're I'll playing this game Andros won't have his way with me. on a Windows 7 based PC using Project 64 1.6 with uh, aspect ratio correction enabled so that we get corrected widescreen. I'm playing it at a resolution of 1366 by 768 and I'm going to render this down to 720p for YouTube. So, uh, enjoy. Should be pretty good. Oh look, it's Fox. Check your G-Diffuser system. Yeah dude, gotta check that fucking G-Diffuser. Shit. Falco here. I'm fine. I would hope you are. This is Peppy. All systems go. Oh god. Flippy here. I'm okay. No, you're not. You're a useless toad. No, you're not even I a toad, you're head. a tard. Let's rock and roll! Oh boy, here we go. I'm gonna see if I can not embarrass myself through any of this, but you know, we'll see. We start off blasting shit. Some noobs. Noobs! But over here, lock on shots, baby. Slippy's already being an idiot. Slippy, watch out! Loki on your tail! Laser upgrades, because lasers are cool. Oh, I thought they had me. My lasers are green still, that's not cool. They're gonna say that way. I'm gonna try and do some charge unlock shot hacks here. The way this game works with We're entering the charge City. shots, if you kill shit with splash damage, you get bonus kill points. Which is kinda hacks, but you know. Oh I Everybody suck. stay alert! Oh, that was good. You got an enemy on your tail. Wait, get these guys behind Use me the here. Break. Shoot that. Get some points off of that. And I usually fire a bomb right there just to kill both of those guys easily because I'm lazy. One thing I, one problem I have when I play this game is I waste bombs a whole lot. I'll take this. Get the one behind. Okay, Falco. Just don't kill yourself. Something's wrong with the G to Uh, I thought you checked that, asshole. Use the boost to take. I guess I should be safe. Damn right you should. I saved your ass, you stupid bird. Stop sucking so much, and I might not have to save your ass. 
Got some friggin' robot guys here. Using charge on lock shots to gain extra points where I normally shouldn't. Do a thing here, because there's a bomb that spawns right after you pass it. It thinks you can't get it. I originally thought you couldn't get it, but then I learned how to do the loop de loop. Ouch. Yeah, don't slam your wings into rocks. That's not really a good idea. These guys drop bombs. I found the target. Usually fire a bomb over. Takes out a few of these enemies. Uh, by the way, we're going the alternate path. Just because it's more fun. I'm not going the hard path right away. Got an extra life off of that. And something, if those of you don't know and you like to play this game, if you bang your wings up against something but they're not completely broken, and you pick up a, a laser power-up, it counts as a wing repair. Basically, I think you get three three slams per wing before your wing breaks off. Anyway, this guy is a classic boss, or a classic remade boss from the original Star Fox on the Super NES. Still as much of a pushover. In fact, he was a little harder in the NES version. He's easier here. Basically, we just shoot his shit, and, you know, Heavy decides to tell you how to beat him after you've already figured it out and nearly killed him. Falco's almost dead, how somehow, but uh, you it doesn't really matter. We're Star yeah, I'm Star Fox, Fox, bitch. What are you gonna do You'll about it? Never and he decides to explode twice. And because the emulation is weird, the explosion was kind of sped up there a little bit. But playing this in emulation is so We're much worth out. it. I would play All this on the N64, report. but it is just you so much better it. to get it in HD. I was worried for a moment. You're becoming more like your father. Am I really? I'm fine. You won't your energy there, bar says different. You don't look fine over there. 175 enemies. That's not a bad score. There are people who can get like 200 on this level. <laughs> but that's stage one. We'll see you in a bit for stage two.